And we are just a little more than four months away from the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. And Cleveland, as we know, is playing host for a record sixth time. The game, though, is just a fraction of the fun for fans. Jesse is live outside Progressive Field this morning with more on what's being planned. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, guys. Well, today it's cold and pretty empty here, but come July, Cleveland will host more than 100,000 people for MLB All-Star Week, and it's going to be different than ever before. Of course, the game will be inside Progressive Field, but all new this year is the fan experience outside of the game called the Play Ball Park. That will be at the convention center about a mile north. MLB calling it the world's biggest and most playable baseball festival. So here's what you can do. Play baseball, use batting cages, hang out with all stars. There will be a zip line, food trucks, and that's just some of it. An MLB spokesperson says they wanted to bring the whole city together through the game, and they're doing that by making the events outside the convention center free. But never before has baseball had an event like this where we're taking the celebration outdoors and indoors. The outdoor area is going to be free to all fans, so that's awesome and exciting. And then you need a ticket for the indoor portion. MLB says Cleveland is the perfect city to debut this fan experience because they know that this city loves themselves some baseball. And starting today at 10 a.m., you can get discounted tickets for inside the convention center. Um, they're $10, and we have the links to those tickets and the promo code on our News 5 app. Live in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5.